Hey, it's Gilbert here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to test your brake fluid for water with using a multimeter. Be aware, brake fluid is highly corrosive, so don't get it on anything like paint. All right, multimeter. You're going to want to set it to volts. The basic rule is that 3% water in your brake fluid is bad and you need to flush it. You can test that using a multimeter, the process I'm about to show you, and the numbers you're looking for is 0.3 volts or higher. You want to go ahead and flush your fluid. 0.3 volts is the same as 300 millivolts. So you'll see this one swapping between them and it's not the best but it does work and the process to see what yours is at first you want to zero it so touch the two ends together two leads together they'll go to zero the negative we're going to put on the actual master cylinder the metal and the positive we're going to put in the fluid and then we're looking Minus 120, 180. So, obviously it's moving a lot, but it's well under 300 millivolts. So, yeah, as you can see, this isn't the best multimeter, but looks like we're holding steady around. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> we're way, we're way under, we're way on the good. So, of course, it's not going to cooperate with me during the video. Anyway, yeah, mine was fine. So that's how you test yours. Again, if it's higher than 0.3 volts or 300 millivolts, then you need to flush your system. And if the more humid the area you live in, the more often you'll probably have to flush it. So I hope that was helpful. If so, please like, subscribe, comment, donate, and good luck with yours.